Professor Iko, all the way coming from Shibaura, Japan, to see everyone here. So hopefully we will have lots of discussion. Okay, please be active. And um, today our colleagues from SIT will explain about program that they have there. So besides uh, study abroad, which is actually for global class students, computer science. We are also opening for the chance to do a three plus one for you guys for the internship. Okay, so for regular students, although you're not, you're not going there for the study abroad, you can still go there for your three plus one to do an internship at the lab. So please have a discussion with our colleagues so you can know more about uh, their program that they have there in Japan. Okay? So thank you very much and I will give you the time and floor is yours. Thank you for coming. Hi, I'm Gyoshi Seba from Shibara Institute of Technology. And uh, it's our pleasure to have such a many students uh, interested in our university, Shibara Institute of Technology. Uh, later, uh, Professor Nicodemus will explain about our university, but uh, our university is engineering oriented university, and uh, we are now focusing on globalization. So we hope to have many students from this university in the uh, near future. So if you have any question, ask us after the uh, Professor Nicodemus explain or you can send us an email anytime. Thank you again and uh, I hope you uh, I hope to have uh, to see you in Japan in the near future. Viewpoint. The most important thing is to tell the student 
that their social contribution is very important for their future. We want to foster uh, practical individuals who can contribute to the society. My research is to develop high maneuver drones for realized fast time flight missions. The drone we are developing now is uh, categorized in multiple systems. That is multiple rigid bodies connecting with some active or passive joints. The drone we are developing has uh, several actuators using multiple system dynamics. We developed the uh, sophisticated control vessel we can fly horizontally without changing the uh, attitude itself. Other potential applications are surgery simulator. Our research group are doing the development of the control method and also the visualization. The other biotechnology is a safe metal tool for high metabolization of the metal. In the case of the IO, the IO, the IO, the IO, the IO, the IO, 自然界から取ってくることになりますその生物の代謝機能吸着するとか溶液化するとか孵化するっていうような機能を見つけていきますすなわち廃棄物から有用な金属をこの微生物によって回収し回収したものを自然化しサプライアーインダストリーに戻したり Almost all patients of mortality back in this order have difficulties standing with us supporting on body base. Our developed gate train system is in using pneumatic parts as an actuator to support the body base and also to support the body movement. The air gate system can modulate the support of the body movement to match paralysis level. The most important point is how to keep the patient motivated for recovery of each motor to come. University education is not conducted only in the university. We need the help of the industry and the government. GTI Consortium stands for Global Technology Initiative. We invite industry, university, and the government from the world to train international students in a diversified environment. For students to get hands-on experience, they have to participate in projects actively and positively. Google BBS is an international version of the city-based one. It is a kind of related project with over the institution, such as for international practice. The framework of the institution has to ask to enhance global media programs more practical and important. Students are supposed to tackle different things such as real life problems and the country of the region specific issues which are given by academic supervisors or industrial managers. The focus of my project is developing a device to collect growth in crops in an automatic way and uh, avoid efforts from farmers workers. I heard about this BBL program from my professor and got interested in working together with students from other countries. To prevent heat stroke at agricultural sites, we decided to make a wearable device that measures biomedical signals and alert the user in case of program. Working in group is very interesting because we have to hold our competencies and we can solve problems we can never solve only by our own. During academic year 2017, we are conducting in total 80 global meetings. 50 sessions are held abroad and 30 are at the SIT in Japan. They learn a lot through this program, communication skills and the importance of diversity. I want to make SIT to be real global university.
this is we, we prepare a space for the students, uh, for the Japanese and foreign students to have a free discussion maybe uh, on, uh, at lunch, uh, sometimes before the event uh, when we are finding uh, guests from uh, uh, foreign universities. And for the Toyota campus, this is our newest campus, right? University. Yes, campus, right? Actually, the Silver Campus. Yeah, but actually, Silver is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we are just referring to the building. But this one is on this campus. This Toyota is at the center of Tokyo. Uh, sorry. So you can see, uh, we only have actually three buildings here. First is only for libraries, for the building for the libraries. We have all the libraries. This is also the building. We have the building for the classrooms. Uh, and, and for the PC uh, books and so on. And this is about the activity buildings. And we have, uh, uh, I have this gym at uh, first floor of home. We have cafeteria and we have students there. So this is, uh, yes, this is also, we have also global learning commons in the USA campus. And we are connected by uh, uh, city conference system so we can, we can uh, communicate each other. <coughs> Uh, Simora campus is dedicated for engineering uh, design, uh, uh, the colleagues of engineering design. So the third and fourth year students will uh, learn in this campus. Actually, this is our uh, oldest campus. So before we are uh, building our campus in Omiya and Toyosu, this one is the old Omiya campus. The Omiya campus is already 50, 50 years old. And then you say maybe about 10, 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. But Sibaura is almost 80 years. 90 years. Yeah, 90 years. So it's the oldest one. So it's only one building, actually, uh, because uh, it's only for the third and fourth year students for the college of engineering and design. So if you look at uh, the students of number of students of uh, Sibaura Institute, Technology. Actually, we have a total of around 87 students in total. Uh, mostly it's from the College of Engineering. We have around 47 hundred. And next is the College of System Engineering Design, which is in Omiya. We have around 2,000. Uh, College of Engineering Design, third, we have around 600. And this is the new school we only have uh, less than. But it's still growing because it's just, just uh, established in the uh, last year. So this is our first bench. Uh, and the first bench. Uh, second bench. Yeah, second bench. So this is our second bench. For the school. And for the graduate school, master and uh, PhD students, we have a total of around 1,000 students. And mostly, mostly in uh, master's For PhD, we have around yeah, uh, around 80, I guess, or less. Yeah. I thought that the 80 something student is PSD, the rest is mental. So this is all shown. Let me skip this. Okay, so we have four college schools and, and 60 departments. So this is for a uh, bachelor degree, undergraduate. Uh, uh, for the engineering, you can see that we have mechanical, uh, uh, yeah, material science, applied chemistry, electric chemistry, and so on. And maybe for the uh, computer science, it's close to this information science and engineering, I guess. If I'm wrong, right? Yeah, sorry. For, for the computer science, it's close to this one, right? Uh, okay. So, so we have to, this is a little bit of, uh, so we are changing the, uh, there is a, a department that uses computer and everything. So maybe you're, you're, you're from the computer science department, that will be interesting. And for the system engineering, we have one, three, four, five departments. Uh, and you can see there is also bioscience and, and mathematics, actually. So, so we are not, not only uh, engineer or technical. We have, we have this kind of uh, bioscience, which is very close to, for example, uh, uh, there was students that they said, uh, 
their uh, major is with engineering, but the engineering will be close to bioscience and engineering in our campus. And we also have this mathematical uh, like science uh, problem. The last one, the last two is engineering and design. It is uh, for our campus and architecture. So this is our newest department. For the master degree, uh, we have uh, seven courses. Okay? Electrical, material, plant chemistry, mechanical, and structure, civil, system engineering and science, and global forms uh, of engineering and science. Actually, I, I am uh, now joining this global course of science and engineering and science. So in global course, we, we have all of these by all of these measures. So, so uh, any students, they join this course can take this kind of measure uh, from the global course. Also, uh, we, we took uh, uh, many foreign students in this course. For the doctoral program, we have two programs. Yes. First is the neural environment system. And secondly, it's not the technical. So it's dealing with, for example, uh, sleep planning or maybe uh, environmental problems and so on. And the second one is about functional control systems. So this is for technical. I want students, my students in terms of this control system. And Okay, the number of graduate school, okay, this is uh, small because not, not all of the departments in, in the undergraduate school have this graduate school. So some of them is joining one of these departments. So not, not always uh, the same department with, with the undergraduate because the name is the same. And another uh, uh, important uh, event for our uh, point that we have now is that uh, the society was selected as one of the, the top global universities in Japan. So this is a program by the Japanese government to promote the globalization of uh, Japanese universities. And actually, uh, there's only 37 universities from all of the Japan and for the private technical university, the society is the only one. So this is uh, also one of our uh, strong points. And this is our target for uh, 2040, uh, 23. Actually, uh, as you can see, for example, we are trying to no, no, uh, we are trying to increase the number of international students by uh, now we have around six percent by thirty percent. So, so you can see that the, the increase is very uh, significant. And uh, we also now increase the number of uh, international professors. We are uh, now recruiting some professors for countries, and also increasing the number of Japanese students that go to So this is also uh, our collaboration with Vina is actually also one of uh, our ways to uh, improve our achievement uh, uh, here. So from Vina, we will accept students, and maybe we will send more students. Here for the one or two semesters. And we also have, um, uh, now uh, we have around four, in total 400 courses teach in English for undergraduate and for graduates. Maybe it's graduates, but undergraduate, we are uh, starting to increase the number of courses. So uh, even if you are joining the society for undergraduate, you can say you have four there is many courses you can take in English. And for the target for our globalization, uh, actually, uh, now I don't see the year here. 2023, and this is last year. Last year, okay. So, 2017, we have uh, all the students we sent, the students that we sent overseas is around 1,300. And for the e students, the foreign students that we set in our campus, uh, this including uh, short-term students is around the same number, so 100, uh, sorry, 1,300 around that. But in 2023, 
our target is twice, which is twice and more this number. So, so now we are trying to get some of this target. This is uh, the number of uh, foreign students now uh, last year in our campus. We had a total of 1,300. Uh, As you can see, uh, mostly is from China. Mostly from China. You have Thailand, Malaysia, South Korea, Vietnam, Thailand, and Iris. So we have 41 from Iris. This is including uh, short term. In my laboratory, I have five students from Indonesia. Uh, two is for the graduate school, three is for the undergraduate. <coughs> undergraduate students, they take the, the uh, exchange program and the Swedish program for one year. What and half years? Uh, two is getting half year and one is getting half year. So actually, now you can see that uh, we are trying to increase the number of students from Indonesia. Why? Because uh, this is for my experience. The students from Indonesia is uh, a bit Actually, in my, in my lab, they do very well. And sometimes uh, they do uh, better than other students. So this is why we are trying to increase the number of students from Indonesia. And actually, it is not listed here, but we have a uh, few students from African countries. Maybe every year we we, we start about 20 to 30 students, uh, uh, even sources from Texas. Government. So, uh, this is uh, the statistic, statistic of our foreign students. You can see mostly it's from Asia, 7 of them. Uh, but we also have uh, students from uh, European, America, and Middle East, and again, Africa. In my class, I have students from Netherlands, from Brazil, from uh, Armenia, from China. So, so you can see that we have uh, students from many countries. So this is uh, the collaboration that we have already established with schools in our universities in the world. In Indonesia, we actually uh, we just established our collaboration with Vinas last year, okay? uh, because actually it was it was initiated with, by me and my friend, and my friend is teaching here in computer science. So it's my friend here. So we are using this collaboration and last year we signed the agreement. So now you if you came to Simbabra, actually you don't have to pay them. You can get you can get the credit for me. Uh, before that we only have collaboration with national university of Indonesia, like ITB, ITS, and Jamala. But this will be the first private university, right? IDS is not private. So this is maybe the first private research that we, we are that uh, science, science that we want. And we also private <laughs> So what kind of program that you can join uh, for this idea? First is what you call exchange programs. So this is a short program. Uh, for example, for, for uh, the short run is one week. So like just a like TNG. And the longer one is up to one year. Okay. Uh, the first program is what we call sandwich program. So actually, this is for uh, maybe second year students. Now, at least second year students. Okay. The first year is not available for, for the first year. It's not available for the first year. It's not available. Uh, actually, if you are uh, university, okay, we can accept but we don't offer many courses. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, better it for the second year. Okay. Uh, we accept this for for the undergraduate students, and you can take a course, you can take a class, and you can get the credit. And it's possible to transfer your credit to be It depends on the aggregate of course. So this is for the course taking or credit taking program. The second one is what we call research exchange. So here, or we call it laboratory internship, here you will be assigned to one of the laboratory in the site. And you can conduct, or maybe you can join the research, uh, the research in that laboratory. It, it depends on what kind of research you uh, This only for, uh, first is for the graduate or postgraduate students. 
but for an undergraduate, uh, maybe third year and higher is more survival for first year. Maybe if you are a third year or second year, uh, fourth year student, you can join this program. Okay? And actually, in my lab, I have two students for this program. So they are joining uh, my laboratory for making the, 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 the research. And after finishing uh, for, for six months, they take the project for six months. After finishing, they can take their uh, research as their thesis. Uh, maybe if they, if they are going to be in the computers, they just go. So I feel like, like conducting your thesis or proceeds. Okay. So for internal programs, so this is, this is from science and, and yeah, this is the same one. Uh, for science program, for example, this is an example of science program. So you take your first and second year of your minus. Third year you will take maybe take a uh, design thing. And after that you came back to minus and finish your thesis. Okay. This is but you, you can this is only one year and one year. Uh, no, it's from one to seven to six or so half a year. Okay, the maximum. Sorry. The maximum is only one year. Uh usually yeah, maximum okay. one year. So all courses again is probably the increase and you can see the courses and increase. And we have uh, two admissions every year. One is to at spring. For, uh, sorry, uh, one is uh, around May for the fall semester, and second one is around November for the spring semester. So for the spring semester next year is already uh, the deadline is very close, so maybe it's not possible. Maybe if you want to join, you can join it for the spring uh, sorry, for the fall semester next year. So the deadline will be around May. So this the recent uh, one well, two semesters. The admission, uh, you can see the admission here, because since we already have the agreement with the Minas and Swabra, you don't have to pay. Okay, this is, this, you know, this will be accepted, so you don't have to pay. And when you are applying for this program, you can apply also for the scholarship. It is uh, provided by SIP. And if you get a scholarship, uh, you will get uh, around 40 years per month. So you can use it for your living expenses. And for the tradition again, you don't have to get uh, But if you can get another scholarship in the year, because sometimes 40,000 yen is not enough if you are going to get it. So, and there is actually there is no no minimum requirement for this one, but at least you can speak English or make or communicate in English because because the the uh, uh, the communication will be done more in English. If you can speak Japanese better, but you can learn Japanese there. Actually, my students also taking Japanese classes, so you can take the class for free. It's very good for you. And good, good English skill is the same, at least 80, uh, the total score is 80, but it's not much. I mean, I mean, even if you don't have the score, if you get, no, it's not uh, uh, If you have the score, it's okay, but if you don't have the score, yes, you can apply. You still can apply, so it's not, it's not a mandatory uh, conflict for that. You can apply if you don't have the score. Uh, maybe, maybe, we will do some uh, uh, content, yeah. Yeah. We will need recommendation letter from, from your one of your professors to, to guarantee that you can probably get any And for uh, research actions, uh, actually, uh, you can see uh, again this to conduct research in one of the laboratory and design. So if, uh, it depends on the professor. If you are a uh, computer science, maybe you, you, you want to take a research or, or join a research in artificial intelligence or in IoT or in deep learning and so on. So you can just try to find the professor or maybe you don't know what is the professor that is doing this kind of research. You can ask the office. Uh, I, want to, I want to learn, I want to join this research. You can 
then you need to measure progressors. Or they, they will they will start the progressor for you, okay? Uh, for the uh, research exit, we have four admissions every year. Four admissions, okay? Uh, maybe it's not it's not uh, uh, so clear. You can look at the information. You can come down the first floor. We have the fan You can see them. Where's the link? And again, uh, since we have uh, uh, signed the agreement, you don't have to need you don't need to pay the three additions. And you can also apply for this. So okay, so this is the date for, for the application. You can see we have four application here. <coughs> you can you can uh offer it on this website. If you don't know where to find it, you can contact me on the same uh, another project that uh, uh, we uh, have in society is what we call global media, global project based learning. So this is a short program, uh, maybe two weeks, uh, so we send our students uh, overseas, maybe to America, maybe to your country, your country, maybe to another Asian country, and we will have a group work with the students of our host, University of And actually this is funded uh, by uh, the university, SIT, I mean all of the expenses is, is from SIT, right? No, not all. So for students from our students created by students, students have to pay. Okay. But uh, we offer a scholarship for this program. If you come to Japan, we offer eighty thousand yen. So 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 we offer a scholarship if you join this program. Like we say that we offer uh, the number of the scholarship is about eighty thousand yen. So it's enough to travel to Japan and to stay. So this is actually the scheme of our global PGL. So we have our students, we have Bible University, and also we include the industry and government uh, organizations to provide the issue or the theme of the, uh, uh, this uh, PGL. And our students and the community will try to tackle or find a solution for the problem during these two weeks. So maybe a very short, but we try to find a solution. Okay, so this will be a very good practice for, for learning how to apply your knowledge of this uh, engineering or the technical knowledge in, in, uh, in the field of So this is a real contract. Okay, we, every year we go to Vietnam for the BPL. And for another country, we go to uh, California. So we have you, you have many many uh, options that you can join for this, this global media. That uh, this explanation is only for the non-degree seeking. So if you are only staying for very short periods, we have a degree seeking admission. So for example, for undergrads, you will take four years. For graduate from your master, you have two years, and for PhD, you have three years. And for graduate school. Uh, mostly we'll teach our classes in English. So if, we, if there is a foreign student or foreign student in our uh, classes, we will teach it in English. And the entrance exam is actually uh, for foreign students, uh, mostly is interview. Interview and, and uh, you need to uh, submit uh, yes, yes, yes. then uh, interview, but uh, you can take an interview. So if you are here using, for example, Skype and all those interviews. So this is the, the, the step if you are going, if you want to join or get it. First you have to contact the professor. Because it will, it will tell uh, whether it, he can accept you or not. Once he, can, he say that he can accept you, he, he, can, he will get a letter of like, access. And he will uh, attach that to your application form. Guarantee that that professor is going to accept. And 
I'm just kidding. The documents, uh, first, uh, you will you have to submit it easily. Yeah, uh, easy. You will write uh, uh, according to some paper and topics, and you will review it. After that, uh, you will get the interview. The interview is online. By you don't have to get it. So this is our schedule. Uh, for this application, you only have to get for fall and spring. Okay, so, uh, so we are taking photos in. This is a tap tap. Very tight. So, now maybe one of your concerns is how much you will need to live in. Okay? This is very, very, very important. This is our uh, we, we need a question or a yes, question or you can ask as students. And for the students living in Tokyo. Yeah, so yeah, not Omiya. Tokyo and Omiya students are both. Both, okay. So they say that, uh, okay, they pay less than 80,000 yen per month. Uh, about 60% of international students pay for less than 80,000 Japanese yen per month. Almost half, but 50% of the students pay around $1,000. Around $1,000. If you live in Tokyo, you can be getting around $1,000 per month. But uh, actually, my student, uh, my exchange student, they only get to get $4,000 yen per month. Yeah, $40,000. $40,000. Yeah, 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 $40,000. It's more cheaper to live outside Tokyo. Tokyo is very expensive now. Uh, actually, for, for the housing, okay, the housing is very expensive. And if you are lucky, you can get the room for, or from our dormitory, it will be very cheap. Yeah. So, uh, thank you again for listening. And maybe if you have questions, you can ask any of
My name is Reza, and I want to ask something. Uh, so, if you want to apply for this program, do you have to take a uh, Japanese course or just English? Uh, you don't have to take Japanese course. Uh, and, uh, for, for this exchange program, all, 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 all program will be done in English, in interviews, and when you are doing a uh, consultation with your professor, all of them you don't have to learn Japanese. Okay. Even my students, they don't need that. But uh, uh, when, uh, after they came to SIT, they take Japanese class, because they want to learn it, then you can take a for free, they speak in Japanese. Or don't, don't be worried uh, uh, with Japanese. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 the uh, the engineering part is so very expensive. Uh, the kids do that we think the part is so expensive. And if, if yes, we what we can do so if we don't do that part is so expensive. <laughs> okay. Okay, again, uh, what we ask my students to live in the house, by renting apartment or renting rooms. If you can get a dormitory, it may be cheaper. It may be around, uh, for a cheap dormitory, maybe per month, you will only pay for about two months. You have to rent house here. But if you are renting a room in Tokyo, I was renting my room for 70,000 yen per month. Right? 70,000 yen. It's around. So that's not the right? Uh, the other one is try to get scholarship. Actually, uh, here in Indonesia, I, I just realized that you don't have many information about scholarship. Okay? But in Japan, I think we have many scholarship. But most of this scholarship is applicable once you have it. So that's, that's, that's the, the most important thing. So, Again, I encourage you, first, try to come to the mini through this exchange program. Uh, don't be uh, let's say, afraid that you, you, you cannot be uh, in Japan. Actually, my students, again, my students only get 40 months per month, and we still live in, <laughs> in, in, in Omiya. So I think that's not a big problem. And once you are in Japan, you can try to find the information about this private scholarship. There is many private courses. I also got my courses from this private commission. So, again, you try to find this information. And another one is uh, maybe, this is not, not uh, I, mean, I mean, the, the competition is very, very free, but uh, you can try to apply for the scholarship from the Japanese government, like on the show. And there is also a scholarship from China. They want to in China. They, they will give you around uh, 140,000 yen. So this will be enough to live. And actually, uh, uh, I have I have one one uh, song for for private sports. So for exit students for one year. Actually, I, I can only take one student per year. So last year I took my student for the TV. But next year I have decided yet. So I will give you the information, you can apply it. And if you're lucky, you will get one year's policy. And it's around uh, 100,000 years per month. I will give you the details to keep together. <laughs> Once you open the, the application, you can apply. But unfortunately, I can get only take one <laughs> per year. Okay. Any other questions, please? Yes.